Ja, wat een dik. Ja, these uh, side roads, these country roads, these small ones, they are... There's not so much traffic on these. And actually there's not so much, much traffic in, in Finland you know, on any road. Uh, we, don't, we hardly ever have those huge uh, um, traffic jams where there's like uh, tens of kilometers of uh, cars standing, not moving and people getting paced. That's uh, kind of a rarity in Finland. But that's because we don't have so many people living in the country. And uh, <coughs> if we had more people living here, then we would have the most, uh, the worst traffic jams uh, in the world probably because Finnish <laughs> people are not so uh, I would have to be politely they are not so um, uh, educated drivers <laughs> it's uh, there's uh, not so much traffic but what traffic we have that's uh, oh nice house it's uh, well. There was there's a lot to improve. Let's put it that way. See what I mean by the traffic that we don't really have it in Finland. It's uh, 10 to 4 in the afternoon, and it's supposed to be the rush hour. Well, yeah, okay. There's. Uh, people on uh, vacation too, but uh, still, I wouldn't call this a rush hour. Yeah, and about the uh, filtering, the filtrage, was it? It's, uh, it's not allowed in Finland, it's, uh, there's not just a thing in uh, traffic law as filtering. So you just go with the rest of the traffic instead of skinning. But uh, of course you can go and do it on your own risk. And that's just how it is in Finland at the moment. I hope it's going to change and uh, get a little more European with it. And uh, filtering would be an option. And uh, when, it's, uh, when it's part of the traffic culture and uh, uh, people who are driving cars uh, know to watch for the filtering motorcyclist, then it's not, uh, or let's say it's less risky. Because there's a mutual understanding of what's going on. Thank you.